In this video, I'm going to show you how to clean your new chain and prepare it so that you can use squirt wax. So all my life, I've been using just regular oil for my chains. And a couple years ago, I started using squirt wax. And holy cow, this stuff is awesome. I absolutely love it. So I'm going to show you how I clean my chain. Um, I got a new chain and I'm going to be using the KMC uh, 10 speed chain, the actual heavy one, because I'm going to be putting it on my cyclocross bike. And what I'm going to use to start the initiation of cleaning the chain is I'm going to use this stuff from um, the Squirt Company called the Bike Cleaner. And it's very similar to Green uh, Machine and stuff like that. Uh, basically, you want to decrease the chain. So it sounds counterintuitive, but when you buy a new chain, it's very, very clean, except it has this factory grease on it to prevent corrosion, and you need to get rid of that grease in order to um, apply the wax. So what I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna size the chain just yet. I'm gonna clean it first. I put a bunch of that uh, cleaner in here. I did not dilute it. That's important, because you really want the strength in there. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put the chain inside the cleaner like this and then I'm going to let it soak in there and by the power of television or the power of uh, the internet we're going to wait 30 minutes and just let this stuff uh, dig in there. I'm also going to put the master links in there and you just cover it up and I'll come outside and shake it a little bit every once in a while and I'll be back and I'll show you what we're gonna do next. All right, so it's been about a half an hour. What I'm gonna do is I've been shaking it every once in a while and I'm gonna take a very strong toothbrush and I'm gonna scrub the actual chain and really try to get that grease off. What I did here is I put it up on a hanger so once I'm done and I'm almost done scrubbing the grease off and in the rollers is I'm going to water it down and then I'm going to take some hot boiling water with some soap and wash it again to get this chemical out of the chain as well. But you could see with my hands it's actually getting a lot of the grease off and it's dissolved. So then I'm just gonna wash it here with really hot water and try to get as much of the grease off as we can. So what I did now is I just put it in uh, burning hot soapy water and I scrubbed it again. And now I'm gonna put it in some clear water and start rinsing that off and then it should be fairly clean. It may take a couple times to actually get the soap out of this, and then what will happen is I'm gonna dry it off in the sun and let all the water come off it. So you can see right there, it's still got some uh, soap in there, so we're gonna start rinsing it like this and to make sure that all the soap gets out of there and that it fully dries before we put the uh, wax on it. So you see that? Absolutely no soap residue and the water is totally clean. So this chain is now ready to dry. So I'm just gonna hook it up on this hook here to hang and I'm gonna expose it to the sun and let it just dry off. <music> Here's the moment of truth. We're gonna start. We're gonna start applying wax to the chain and I'm gonna rotate it, ride it a little bit, and then I will let it sit overnight and then I will re-wax it 
and then it is going to be ready to go. Now my last chain lasted about 3,000 miles and that was including all the dirt that I did and the gravel grinding and the cyclocross. So that was a pretty long life for that chain. And I think that's because I used the squirt wax. So again, the product is in the description down below. If you want to try some, you can get someone delivered to your door through Amazon. Mm -hmm.